So how better to finish making a tutorial than with an example solve? I've completely randomly solved the F3L, so now I need to do the last layer. The funny thing I noticed about this last layer is usually you do corners only. But I noticed that this is an actual, an actual orientation case from the Frigic days that I used to be in. So, yeah, I'm just going to orient the entire layer. Generally, you just solve corners, orient, permute, do whatever floats your boat. Now, I want to put as many things in place as I can at once. I notice that I have to swap these two corners, and I have an orange edge here. So, these two corners you swap, orange edge here. By using the Y perm, Y permutation algorithm, I can swap two corners and put that orange edge in place. Alright, orange is in place. Now I'm going to completely ignore that orange piece that I just saw because I saw something even better. I have a whole piece of blue over here and greens here. Since I go for opposites, I'm just going to take that blue and put it in the back. And I'm going to do that with an actual 3x3 three three edge cycle. Now all I have is a cycle of three edges and then I'm going to have a parity case. Which I'm probably going to end up with like a reduction parity or something. I need to get green here. And I don't care what happens to anything else. So I put green down, and I put the recipient piece down, and put it up, and I move it up. The only thing I can't do is break up this block that I already made. So I'm going to move this piece here, since it's not breaking my block, and then finish that algorithm. And nope, no parity this time. I just have a cycle of three edges. This piece needs to go here. So I'm going to do that algorithm. And that was a fairly good last layer.